All right, everyone, welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. And today, coming back with a good friend of mine. Uh, over the last, I would say, 24 months, two years, uh, we've gotten to know each other really, really well. We jump on calls uh, at least once a month, sometimes twice a month, and we've really gotten to know each other really well, which has been super fun for me. Uh, but we've got Joel Solomon back on the episode with us. He's been great. You've probably heard me even say in the last few episodes, he's been connecting me with so many great people to even have on the podcast. So first off, let me say, Joel, appreciate that, man. It's been, uh, it's been fun getting to know your friends as well as getting to know you as well. But I decided to invite Joel back on. Let's hit record. Uh, as I mentioned, we have conversations sometimes twice a month. And I thought, hey, let's jump back on. Let's get into some topics of some financial education, some different uh, financial abundance. Uh, that's what he's all about. He's all about trying to help folks reach for financial prosperity, financial abundance. And he's got so many different tools, so many different techniques. Uh, we're not going to get it really into his bio today. He's been on the podcast before, and you can refer back to those episodes. I will actually, I'll look up the episode numbers and I'll share some of those in the show notes as well. You can go back and learn more about Joel and his background itself, but it's very vast. He's a very knowledgeable uh, human being in terms of the stock market. He's a former hedge fund manager. I'm not going to go into all the bullet point list, but as far as his resume is very very large. And as far as his ability to speak on different topics in terms of financial abundance and, and prosperity is a lot of fun. So Joel, man, I just appreciate you coming back on here for a few minutes. Let's share some, uh, some knowledge and wisdom with the folks. Well, thank you so much, Randy, for having me back on. It's truly a, a pleasure and honor to be here. And I send you my friends and colleagues because you have a great show and you're doing great things and you're educating people on various topics which is essential so thank you for having them on i know they appreciate you and i'll continue to send you great people who i think can add value to the wisdom that comes from the rich mind podcast love that so yeah, it's all about giving and, and, and sharing with as much, many people as you possibly can, right? Uh, I'm always trying to find great people to have great conversations with, uh, even learn for myself. I'm, I'm always learning even different ways of being uh, that I've not been uh, introduced to and even learning from you, Joel. I, as I mentioned, we've gotten to know each other over the last couple of years and you've really taught me a lot and it's been a lot of fun. We've had opportunities to partner together on a few projects, and we'll get into some of that later on as we talk today. But at the same time, it's been a, a lot of fun for me. So once again, I just appreciate you uh, sharing so much wisdom with me, and I appreciate you going to be sharing so much with everybody today. So we talked about uh, some topics, and I'm going to let you kind of roll into what those topics are, kind of some ideas and things that we talked about. We want to share some tools, uh, share with some people some hope. I think a lot of folks right now are, are we're right in the middle of a major political season here in the United States. A lot of chaos going on out there in the world. Inflation is skyrocketing at times. And just people are, are looking for ways and answers to try to find some of that financial prosperity in their life. And I think that you can really speak to a lot of that from a mindset standpoint and really give them some tools to help them combat some of these seemingly negative things that are going on in their day-to-day -day activities. Is, uh, where does that you know, where does that land for you as far as uh, some wisdom you might be able to share? Well, thank you, Randy, for the question. So first of all, I believe that everything starts here with you, right? And so you get to choose your thoughts, you get to choose your beliefs, and you get to choose how you interact on a daily, weekly, monthly, yearly basis with everything that's going on out here. It's your choice. And when it appears that there is some contrast, I will call it, in the environment, be it the political or religious or economic environment, as you mentioned, you also get to choose how you react. And I learned this many years ago that I rate my emotions. No one else does. And so I will say that for everyone who's watching today, you create your emotions. It's not your former wife or husband. It's not the president or the incoming president. It's you. 
And so when we start from that point of view, you can create your life and you can create your money mindset and you can create abundance and prosperity for you, no matter what is going on in the economic environment. And Randy knows this, and I'll just recap a little bit of my career, which was in 2000, well, in 1993, I had a dream to be a hedge fund manager. And I achieved that dream in 2008. And some of you may remember 2008. It was not the best year in the stock market. The stock market was down 40% that year, the worst year since the Great Depression. And financial companies, many of them failed in 2008 and 2009. The overall index for the financials companies like banks and insurance companies and credit card companies and money managers was down 57%, more than half. You lost half your money, more than half your money in that index in 2008. And I was working for a large bank and managed to make a little bit of money. So my fund that I was managing was up a little bit that year. And I made okay money that year. And in 2009, when the market was down a lot in the first three months and ended up being up over 20% in the United States in 2009, I, and, and we were still coming out of a recession here in the U S and a lot of people were still losing money, losing jobs, losing their homes, um, a lot of unemployment. And that year, I made more money than, I, than I've made before or since in any one year. In the midst of a major economic, some will say they call it the Great Recession. It wasn't a depression, but it was a Great Recession, they called it. And so I was doing my dream job and living my dream life and having fun. And this book over here, The Nine Money Rules Millionaires Use, is a recap of those years as a hedge fund manager. And some of the lessons I learned, having fun, being happy, being grateful, having strong belief in your desires, trusting your intuition. And I created that opportunity and I created that abundance that year. Despite what was going on in the economic environment, some may say the political environment too was very uncertain that year as well. So I will suggest to everyone who is watching right now that you can create an abundant life for yourself no matter what's going on out here in the physical world, no matter what the inflation rate is, no matter who the president is or who the government is or what country you're living in. And what's going on, the, the diversity, equity, and inclusion environment, it's all about you. And so you get that choice every day when you wake up to choose abundance and prosperity, to choose faith in the magical universe that's supporting you. And in, in chapter three of this book, the nine money rules millionaires use it's called choose faith over fear so how are you choosing faith all day every day versus fear because i say what you put out you attract so if you're choosing fear and worry because of what you're seeing in the newspapers or watching on tv or streaming live on your instagram or snapchat or tiktok in fact, that's how my daughters get their news, streaming on TikTok, <laughs> right? So it's, you get to choose. And so you don't have to react and you could live your life in faith knowing that it's a magical universe. And so in the chapter, Choose Faith Over Fear, I talked about how for most of my life, I assumed people were mean, evil, and out to get me. And I'm not going, going to go into the reasons why. And what did I get? I got people who were mostly mean, evil, and out to get me because that's what I believe. But when I changed my thoughts and changed my actions and changed my words, 
for the last 15, 20 years, I attract people like Randy who are kind, caring, and out to help me. And so choose that. Choose the kind, caring, out to help you souls. Because I will tell you, out of the 8 billion people on this earth, they're mostly those. It's not always so, the negative stuff we see on TikTok and Twitter or X or whatever it is nowadays. So all this stuff that we're seeing, uh, it's just a constant news cycle. And it's always bombarding us with these negative visual images um, that's really controlling our thoughts like you're talking about and our, our faith and, and what's going on and around us. Correct. And I know this is going to sound unusual to most of you who are watching and listening. But since 2012, I have not watched TV news. I have not listened to radio news or streaming news. And I've not read a newspaper. Since because, 2012? Is that what you said? Yeah, since 2012. 2012. 12 years. And now I do... I will be completely open in that I do get a daily email from an investment bank with the important mm -hmm. stocks that are moving up and down and the news on individual companies and the highlights, but I don't, I don't get a newspaper. I don't get TV news and I've been thriving the last 12 years and some will say that I have a very positive mindset and I will attribute it to not getting all that negative information, negative streaming content in your feed all day, every day. So I get to choose what is in my feed. I get to choose the information and I read a lot of books of my choosing. So that would be a long-winded answer to your question, Randy. So that's that's kind of maybe a follow-up back to you then is I can hear people listening maybe out there today. Well, then, well, Joel, how do you keep up with what's going on in the world? How do you know whatever's going on, whether it's even in your own small community, uh, it can be within your state. Uh, how, do you, how do you even know what's going on out there in the world? How do you answer questions like that? Well, the most essential things in the world people tell you right <laughs> if if there's a if there's a pandemic and you're going out to grab something at a fast food restaurant for the first time when things have shut down people will tell you to wear a mask you kind of, you kind of realize that something's going on right <laughs> and and then the next day i was aware because like i said i do get a couple of uh investment banks, key information and stock news. So I am privy to the type of, you know, the information for the companies that I follow on a daily basis. And, and that's what's for me most important. And yes, I, 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 I talk to people, I talk to people in the community. And so I, I hear what's going on in the, the local, but beyond that, I don't, think it's absolutely necessary to hear about the global warfare. Um, it's just not serving you. And, you know, you, I, what you can do is you can think positive thoughts for people around the globe all day, every day. And you don't need to be focused on the war here, the war there. That's not serving you. Focus on peace, focus on love, focus on abundance and prosperity. I'll, I'll, I tell my clients and I tell people in my Money Miracles membership that the same vibration, which is gratitude, appreciation, which by the way, gratitude is rule number five in the nine money rules millionaires use. Gratitude, appreciation, love, joy, passion. Those same vibrations is the same vibration as abundance and prosperity. So vibrate up there in, in love and joy and passion, happiness, gratitude, appreciation, and the abundance and prosperity will. Love that. 
so I know you've mentioned the uh, community and I know you're in the uh, process of building out this awesome com community. Uh, talk about that a little bit, how you're attracting, you mentioned you are attracting the right people into your life, but then you're also helping them as well to grow into the people that they're meant to be as well. So uh, talk about the community that you're out there trying to build at this point too. Yes, thank you for that. So I have a community called the Money Miracles Membership, and the goal is to take people from wherever they are now towards financial freedom as quickly as possible. Now, there are processes and strategies as well as mindset techniques in the membership. And I've recorded a series of videos that take you from stage one to stage five with an introduction with bonus specialized videos on everything from DIY, do-it-yourself investing on stocks, on real estate to, to bonuses on should I buy or rent a house? Should I get another credit card? How a credit card is going to affect my credit score? All, all this information. And then I have 32 guest experts who have also recorded their own videos on items related to abundance and prosperity. And we also have the whole infinite possibilities course I recorded at the end of last year that is now included in the membership as well. That's a 10 hour course that people can go through at their leisure over weeks or months. And that teaches the core concepts from Mike Dooley's book, infinite possibilities. And if that isn't enough, we have a weekly call with me personally every single week for up to one hour. And you can ask me any question you have on money mindset, manifestation techniques, investing, business strategy, how to grow your business, any question related to abundance and prosperity. And I'm on for up to an hour until the questions are, are complete. And then we move on. We also have established accountability partners in the membership. So you're paired up with someone else who is going through the videos with you. So if you have a question in the middle of the week and about a video or the ex an exercise that you're doing, you have somebody to go through them with, to talk about it with, and then you can come to the weekly ask more questions. And if that wasn't enough, we also have a reward system. So you can win a free book, free course, or the way up to lifetime Money Miracles membership for doing certain things like posting in our private Facebook group or completing a stage on time or coming to the question and answer meeting live or watching the recording or manifesting money. By the way, one thing I probably should have mentioned up front is this is not just about money manifestations. Yet, members have now manifested as of today 2,266,000 dollars. Now I said, again, we're not just about money manifestations. And what is a money manifestation, by the way? A money manifestation is when a surprise amount of money comes to you. It's not like you're an entrepreneur and you've been talking to this client for a few weeks, and then they signed up for your program. And by the way, my money manifestations are not included in, in that $2.2 .2 million number. And I have a lot of entrepreneurs in the membership. So again, if you've been trying to get a client to sign up for some of your course or program or online course, or whatever, and they sign up, that's not a money manifestation. It's when a surprise amount of money comes in. So say you talked to a client two years ago and they said, no, not interested. And then out of the blue, they click on a link on your website to sign up for an online course or your membership or a program. That's a money manifestation. Or this is one that actually happened in August of 2024. A member emailed me and said, Add $139,000 to your total. That's what I manifested this week. You got to tell me more. You can't send me an email <laughs> like that. So she explained that 
she did have some bad news early, some some really bad news early this year. Her mom had passed away. And she didn't realize that her mom and stepdad had any money. She literally was expecting a check for $2,000. Well, unbeknownst to her, her mom and stepdad had been saving since they were married for their kids. And the trust had money in it of $139 for Lisa. Complete surprise. So we've had things like that, but also things like this week a woman came on for a weekly call and said that she was at the grocery store. The woman in front of her paid for her groceries. Mm. Now that's kindness. She's had Uber rides that people have paid for her. She, another woman in the membership went to the car mechanic because the, uh, the engine light was on and the guy told her transmission thousands of dollars she said he said but let me just check with the manufacturer to make sure there's no recalls because there are recalls on transmissions all the time he found out that there was a recall but not in her state which didn't make a lot of sense to her so she asked if he could call back and inquire why and the manufacturer came back and said You're all set. You don't have to pay a dollar for your transmission. So that's a multiple multiple thousand dollar money manifestation. So that's that's how we count money manifestations. It's not necessarily just money. It's not which this has happened to me. And again, I don't count this my money manifestations in the membership. But I was jogging. Randy knows I jog pretty much every day, and I was jogging a few weeks ago, and. On the ground, same place I jog by every day, five dollars. Mm. Oh my God, oh my God, I'm a money magnet. <laughs> by the way, <laughs> celebrate every money manifestation because the same energy that creates five dollars creates fifty dollars, creates five hundred, creates five thousand, creates five billion when you believe, which is rule number one in the nine money rules millionaire shoes. So celebrate, be grateful because money is energy and the same energy in the $5 bill is in the 5 million. And when you're celebrating and excited and grateful, again, highest vibration, gratitude, then more is going to flow to you with certainty, with faith. So yes, it's, it's been really exciting and there's ton of capacity in my membership we have plenty of room for anyone who's watching or listening if you, you want to know more get on a call with me i give everybody 30 minutes free so jump on a call i can give you one of the manifestation practices or if you want to learn more about the money miracles membership feel free to jump on a call with me i randy hasn't said it this time but he said it on past shows my mission is to help at least a hundred thousand people become financially free and i i'd love for you to be one of them you who's listening right now you know who you are if if you're not yet financially free if you want to learn more about how to have your money work harder for you if you want to learn about money manifestations you want to learn how to change your mindset I'll, i want to help love it joel that's why i wanted you to come back on uh just your energy uh the amount of wisdom you share uh it's just been it's infectious for me right i just i just love it every time we get to connect and I know you bring always a ton of value to my audience as well. Uh, we've talked uh, more than once now, or you've mentioned more, more than once about the nine money rules, uh, your your book. Uh, maybe take just a couple minutes, go through each of the nine money rules. And I know you've got a special offer even about uh, the book itself, a course that you and I created together based on uh, the book itself. But maybe just go you know, high, high level bullet point list of, of the nine money rules, maybe give a little bit of a description. Uh, you've mentioned a couple of them there through your, uh, uh, what you've mentioned so far, but yeah, give everybody a little bit of a taste of the nine money rules. Absolutely. Thank you, Randy. And yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really grateful for you, uh, for working with me to create this amazing online course. So 
So let's go through the rules. And then we're going to share with everyone who's listening something really awesome that we have just for you. So rule number one is when you believe. And I found in my life, and I found as a former hedge fund manager, that when I had faith in my dreams, when I had faith in a stock idea, and I asked my clients, by the way, and I teach a five-step proprietary stock screen, I teach real estate investing. So I asked them to write down from one to 10 what their level of belief is in each investment they currently own and what they're thinking about owning. And if it's not a high enough number, seven, eight, nine, or 10, I would say don't go there. Because what's going to be happening is you're going to be buying when you should be selling and selling when you should be buying. So write down, here's a great tip, write down your level of belief. When you believe, rule number one. Rule number two is trust your intuition. And I know there's no financial advisor out there that will tell you to trust your intuition. But this former hedge fund manager will tell you because I know if I didn't trust my intuition, I either lost money or made less if I hadn't trusted it. It's very powerful. I teach how to develop your intuition just like you can develop your bicep by doing curls. Rule number three is can happiness buy you money? Not can money buy you happiness, but can happiness buy you money? And what, what was interesting is I was doing my dream job. I was really happy. I was enjoying my life. And I encourage anyone who's watching right now to write down a few, one, two, or three happy habits that you know if you're not feeling good about your money situation, you can go to. Maybe it's an uplifting song. Maybe it's dancing. Home alone. Naked. <laughs> or just dancing. That's fine too. The naked you know, is optional, could, right? Naked, naked is optional. Like, <laughs> so write down some happy habits. You know, I like playing ping pong or spending time with my daughters, going for a jog, reading, visualizing, meditating. You know, it could be just gardening or playing with your cat or dog, or it could be walking on the beach, you know, they, with, with uh, you know, barefoot. So, so write down some happy habits. So rule number three is can happiness buy you money? Rule number four is what does visualization have to do with financial freedom? And I teach visualization and all the steps. There's six steps plus the bonus step. But visualization and the proper way to do visualization is really powerful. I'll just tell you the most important step is feeling it. If you can feel the feeling of what you want to happen now before it's actually happened, it's going to happen and it's going to happen soon. So rule number four, what does visualization have to do with financial freedom? Rule number five, we talked about a bit already is gratitude. Gratitude is a really powerful emotion because most people feel gratitude after something has happened. What if you could be grateful now before the money's in the bank? That's powerful. That's ecstasy, right? So gratitude. That's rule number five. Rule number six is giving. So I teach my clients giving could be one of the most powerful rules because when you're most feeling lack or scarce, give. Because it really does change your subconscious mind to think, oh, I do have some money to spare and share. So rule number seven is where is my cash going? Now we're getting into processes and strategies. This is, you know, the four letter word called budgeting. And I just recommend at least doing it for a day or a week. And then you can multiply by four if you've done it for a week to get a month. But see, it's really important because if you're, if you're not planning, you're failing to plan. And therefore you're planning to fail. So at least take a look at where your money's going, at least have a sense as to how much money you're spending a month. I'm not saying you necessarily have to cut back, but at least know. And then if you do know you're spending 10,000 a month, you know you have to earn at least 10,000 a month to break even. It's good to know that number. And then if, say you're making eight, now you have a big incentive to get to 10 or 12, so you could save and invest. 
So that's rule number seven. Rule number eight is DIY investing. We talked a little bit about that, but I fully, in my heart of hearts, believe that doing it yourself, because you're most passionate about your money, you're most passionate about investing, and find something that you are passionate about. It doesn't have to be stocks. It doesn't have to be real estate. It could be crypto. It could be some other investment vehicle. It could be bonds. You know What really excites you? And invest there. And then rule number nine is my most controversial rule. It's don't diversify. And I will tell you as a former hedge fund manager that my top five ideas each year made me 120% of my return. And the other 50 to 70 lost me money on average. So what I recommend doing is put a few eggs in your basket and watch them really carefully. Don't put 100 eggs in your basket. If you do that, you'll get the index in the, in the stock market index or real estate, or that's what you're getting. But why not become financially free quicker and have your money compound faster than eight or nine or 10% a year? I've literally had clients who learned my five-step proprietary stock screen who have compounded their money by more than 50%. In fact, this year I taught a woman my five-step proprietary stock screen who didn't know anything about stock. I mean, she had a very high level, but I taught her the, the nomenclature. I taught her the specifics. I taught her the five steps. And her first idea this year was up 91%. And her second idea this year has been up 88%. So she almost doubled her money and then almost doubled it again. Right, just two ideas. So it is possible. In fact, it's probable, I believe, with a process that you are believing in and you're trusting your intuition. So those are the nine money rules. And as Rand Randy intimated earlier, we are giving away free online course of all the nine money rules. We have videos that are 15 to 30 minutes explaining in detail each of the rules and exercises each week or each day if you want to go through them daily. And you'll learn in detail each of the nine money rules for free. How cool is that? Nothing beats free, right? But the value is so high. We've put a lot of effort, a lot of energy and time into building out the course itself and so the value that that folks will be getting is uh, it's an amazing thing, which I'm so grateful for you to have spent your time and share your wisdom. Uh, we were able to get some things recorded and get something of high value or high quality that I think the listeners today uh, will will find uh, very helpful in terms of getting themselves to this financial freedom and abundance in their life. So, yeah, I mean, I that's really our goal, that. right? Or like it, if you haven't learned anything like i i'd be really upset because i think there's a lot of great ideas that you can put in place actionable ideas to move you towards financial freedom and again it's a process and a strategy and mindset right like we've talked about so changing the mindset first laying the foundation and then putting these practices in place i truly believe will move you towards financial freedom quicker than if you hadn't gone through this. Absolutely. So folks, we will have a link in the show notes and I'm going to put this out there. Joel, we didn't talk about this before we hit record today, but if folks want to email me directly uh, at Randy at randywilsononline.com, I can also get them access uh, to that as well. So I would assume an email to you would work also. I didn't uh, yes. ask the, would it? Okay. So what would that be that best email for you if folks want to reach out to you directly? So the best email is Joel, J-O-E-L, at Salamore. So my company name is named after my daughters, Lauren and Morgan. So it's S-A-L-A-U-R for Lauren, M-O-R for Lauren, Morgan com. So S-A-L-A-U-R-M-O-R dot com. So emailing Joel, emailing myself, uh, or the link in the show notes, whatever's best for you. And we'll definitely get access to the to the nine money rules 
online course over to you as quickly as we possibly can once we receive uh, and have you raise your hand, let you know that, or let us know that you're interested in grabbing that. Uh, one last thing that I know that we put some time into as well. You've mentioned it a couple of times there towards the end of talking about the nine money rules was uh, rule, uh, rule number eight as far as do DIY investing and your five-step stock screen. We've also put together uh, a course that goes into detail about that stock screen. You shared uh, a client of yours that has nearly doubled her money twice when a relatively short period of time using your techniques. Uh, talk about that briefly as far as the, the financial freedom blueprint that we've also put together. Yeah, so the financial freedom blueprint is specific well, there is a bonus on real estate, but it's specific to my five-step proprietary stock screen. And we wanted to give the world access to a process that I've used personally, and I've helped my clients use. And we've had a number of clients that have done really well with this methodology. And it's, what I find is when I read a book, I may take some action on some points, but if it gets a little complicated, I probably am not going to take action. So the five-step stock screen is in the nine money rules millionaires use. Uh, and I think a little more handholding will massively benefit people. So that's why we put together in detail videos exercises so people can actually calculate the five-step stock screen and see if a company passes. And then what's not in the book, by the way, is price targets. So if a company passes the five-step stock screen, great, but what's it worth? And so in the financial freedom blueprint, we also explain how to calculate price targets so that if a company does pass the five-step stock screen, what's the upside? Can I double my money or is it only got 20% return potential? And what I prefer is to double my money. I think you would too. And so we're looking for companies that can at least double their money over the next two years, two to three years. And so... We explain all that in the financial freedom blueprint and it's a fundamental screen, which means that we're looking at the company's earnings, how much money they make. We're looking at the company's revenues, how much they're selling and making conclusions based on this information. It's not, I had a meeting a, a few months ago in person in Manhattan and this guy said to me, not knowing anything about the screen. So it's a technical analysis, right? And I said, no, technical analysis is when you're just looking at a chart and determining based on the price of the stock if it's going to go higher. This is based on the company's fundamentals of earnings and sales. And you have a lot more information that in the five-step stock screen than just looking at a price and determining if it's going to go higher or lower. So, and when you're working with me one-on-one -on -one or in the membership, we also can discuss technical analysis as well as fundamental. We don't ignore it. Yet in the simplified version, it's really great and it's worked. So you don't have to get overly complicated to make a lot of money in the stock market. And so that's why we put together this stock screen and the price target methodology in the financial freedom blueprint. And we also have the bonus of real estate and Randy's a real estate expert as well. We had a great conversation on real estate and, and I think there's a seven step real estate screen as a bonus. And we talk about, and we can talk about now owning versus renting. That's actually a bonus that's available in the Money Miracles membership. And you go through, we can go through a calculation to determine whether it's better to own or whether to rent. And also, if you're owning, what's the cash flow you're getting if you're going to rent out the property? 
and if there's positive cash flow. Because if there's not positive cash flow, you're not getting any return on your investment unless the house appreciates each year. That has happened over long periods of time, but there have been short periods of time here in the U.S. where it has not. And having the knowledge and wisdom that we've shared in your courses and in your membership is crucial to be able to make those decisions looking forward, right? For their own cir circumstances, uh, we talked about as far as taking their own responsibility for their beliefs, for their ideas, for their feelings, for the emotions. But then it also comes down to making some financial decisions as well, which is why pulling together uh, the nine money rules, you put it in your book, but then obviously we put it in the course as well along with the Financial Freedom Blueprint to help folks that are ready to take on the responsibility of making some decisions for themselves uh, to help them guide them maybe a little bit easier as far as uh, without um, a little bit more, less uncertainty maybe than just uh, going out there and willy nilly just trying to figure it out on their own, which is, which is super cool. And that's why I appreciate you sharing so much. Yeah. We want you to get the odds in your favor. Obviously nothing's guaranteed and, just because a company passes the five step stock screen and ha we believe it has a hundred percent upside, it may not go up a hundred percent in two or three years. And having said that we want to get the odds massively in your favor so that it happens more than half the time. It's not just throwing a dart at a list of stocks, right? So you're putting the odds in your favor so that you can make a lot of money with a higher probability. Love it, Joel. I think we're going to start wrapping this one up here and start bringing it in for a close. Uh, is there anything else you want to leave the folks with as far as the sharing uh, anything that's on your mind, as far as the beliefs and the, uh, anything that's going on in your uh, proximity right now to help folks, um, get a little yep. bit better I, as far as their own prosperity and things like that. This has come up a couple of times in the membership the last few weeks. So I, I, it, it's, I think it's timely. And I know there are people struggling out there. And I know we talked at the beginning about the chaos and the environment and so on. And so if you are struggling in your business or your investments, this might sound unusual, but I would say spend more time pretending. If the physical reality is not serving you, if you were watching the news, or if you're reading the news or things in the physical reality, the government or inflation or politics or chaos around the world is not feel, making you feel great, then close your eyes and visualize what you do want to happen. Act as if what you want to happen is about to happen. You want to travel somewhere around the globe and you know, you're looking at your bank account. There's no way that can happen in the near future. In the physical reality, there could be a money miracle coming tomorrow. So act as if it is. Go online and check out flights, check out hotels, check out excursions. Maybe, you know, you have a dream car. Go online and, and go to Blue Book and, and find out, like, where they are around the country. That maybe there's one nearby you and you get, you're getting ready. Maybe there's that dream house on the island of Maldives, you know, check it out, see how much price it out, see where you, what your neighbors are doing. And, you know, from Google maps, you can check it out. So there's so much you can do to act as if play around, pretend more, and that will also raise your vibration. So that, that would be my final thought, Randy. Love it. So folks are out there saying, okay, this money miracles membership uh, we talked about having a link in the show notes for the nine uh, money rules online course and then the financial freedom blueprint. But if folks are out there wanting to know how, where do they get in touch for, with you and learn more about the membership? Uh, maybe they went get in proximity closer to you through that membership and get in that awesome community we talked about earlier. Where's the best place for that? So on my website, salamore.com, again, S-A-L-E-U-R-M-O-R.com. You can go to the drop down where it says courses and click on the link to join the Money Miracles membership. And again, I give everyone 30 minutes free if you want to ju jump on a quick call with me to just learn more about it or ask me any question. Uh, feel free. Uh, that's about halfway down on the home page. You'll see sign up for your free prosperity coaching. 
Love it. So folks, I would encourage you to take Joel up on that offer and the other offers that we've uh, talked about here today. Uh, grab the nine money rules online course. I'm telling you, uh, we spent a lot of time on that course and it's, it's great. Uh, Joel goes into a, a lot of detail. We kind of covered over the high level bullet point uh, list of the nine money rules, but we go into detail how you can actually implement them into your life. And by doing that, we talked about prosperity and, and trying to achieve more abundance in your life. And Joel and I both believe that if you can do that on a consistent basis, you're going to set yourself up for a future that you might not be able to realize today that's even possible. But uh, we're both living proof that it is. Yeah, you have some special? Yeah, I just want to add one last point, which is really important, is that Nine Money Rules Millionaires Use online course, we initially priced at $300. So we're giving it to you for free. So you're you're mad you just manifested three hundred dollars right now by clicking <laughs> on the link to join that online course three hundred dollar free course that used to be three hundred dollars for you guys it's free great point didn't even think about that that's fantastic yeah folks uh, that's what we're here to do today we're trying to add as much value to you the listeners who possibly can trying to show up with some uh, different things different scenarios with our own life but at the same time trying to help you uh, find that prosperity moving forward for you and your family, uh, moving forward here in 2024 and beyond. So Joel, man, I appreciate you spending your time with us here again today. We'll definitely get you back on again in the future. Uh, but yeah, we'll look forward to people telling you a little bit more about their money manifestations, right? You mentioned over $2 million up to this point. Uh, maybe we'll get it to 2.5, maybe close proximity to three or something like that in the near future. Near future. That would be a lot of fun. Awesome. Yeah. And thanks so much again for having me on, Randy. Appreciate you. Absolutely. So folks go out there, have a fantastic day. I'll leave all the links in the show notes that we've discussed today. Uh, we also talked about uh, just reaching out to us via email. You can reach out to me at Randy at Randy and also Joel at Joel at Solomore.com. And uh, we'll have all those links also in the show notes, but make sure you get in contact with each of us and uh, let us know what you think. Uh, grab the course and let's see if we can help you get more prosperity in your life moving forward in 2024 and beyond. So go ahead, go out there. And as I mentioned, have a fantastic day. I look forward to coming back with the next guest again very soon. Until then, bye now.